Hey guys, my name is JR Hernandez and I'm super excited about today's episode because today I'm going to show you how you can make passive income in real estate in 2023. These are methods that I'm doing today and I'm actually going to take you to some of my houses that I'm doing different exit strategies with. So it's going to be a real informational video guys. I'm just like you and if I can make it happen, so can you. If you're getting value from this guys, make sure you subscribe, comment below and share this video with all your friends. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok to be active with me and let's get this show on the road. So I don't typically teach the way you're used to on YouTube. I like to show you real properties that I've owned that I'm investing in. This is not just theory. This is actually what I do for a living, okay? Guys, um, so this house right here, I got this referral from one of my mom's friends. Um, they were tired of, um, you know, renting this house out. It needs a lot of work, as you can tell. So I offered them 89, well, actually she told me she wanted 89,000. So I looked at the numbers, the house next door sold for 275. I was like, this is a good deal. So I bought it for a um, hundred, I mean, I bought it for 89,000 and with intentions to put $75,000 into it and rent it for a hundred dollars a door and Airbnb it, right? A hundred dollars a night each side. Before we even go further, you're asking JR, how the hell do I get 175,000? That's way too far off for me. I got good news for you. So I bought this with hard money. I came out of pocket zero dollars, all right? So you do have to have good credit and good amount of liquid in the bank, but there's what they call hard money lenders who will lend you money based on the how good of a deal you got. So I came out of pocket almost zero dollars, just closing costs and hard money fees. Um, so I was gonna, I bought it for 89. I was going to put 75 and it's a funny story. I'm gonna get into it because I just sold it. Um, and I was gonna rent it for 100 a day. So if you do the math, I was gonna rent it for $100 a night, two doors, it's a duplex. A good uh, occupancy rate is about 60%. So in 30 days, it's about 18, uh, 30 days, that's 18 days. So you're looking at 3,600 a month, Airbnb being it for $100 a night on each side. I was gonna refinance the hard money loan for the 175 and my mortgage would have probably been more or less like 1800 bucks. So more or less, I'm just doing quick math in my head. That would have left me with $1,800 a month in cash flow from this property right here. All right, why did I sell it? All right, so I just closed on this property today. And the reason was I was actually evicting these tenants. So the people on the left, they I did cash for keys, which means I gave her $1,000 to give me the keys and move out. This right side said they had an oral agreement to the property and with the previous seller. And so that prolonged the court process to a good amount of time. I would have won because in Texas, you know, uh, there's called like a bona fide owner, which means I paid for the property. Um, the title's in my name. I'm in the chain of title. So I would have won. They were just trying to prolong not paying rent. Um, anyways, somebody from Cali came in and offered me an amazing offer that I could not refuse. Um, you know, so I took the offer. I closed on it today and I'm happy. So, so that's one way to have passive income in real estate. You know, Airbnb is a little less passive because you have to, you know, you have to deal with a few more things like cleaning the house, bookings, etc. But $1,800 a month off of one property, not really using any of your own money, I see that's a win, right? So here's how the numbers took out. Purchase price was 89,000. Rehab was 75,000. And guys, 75,000 is an extensive rehab, like top notch almost like a brand new house all right that's a lot of money to put into this little house it was only like 1400 square feet all right so that's like everything brand new tip top even uh put in like a, another that little uh um room in the back the separate building really putting some money into that as well all right so all in i'm looking like i was gonna be 89,000 plus 75,000. i was gonna be all in at 164. i'm at 164,000. okay so when i go to refinance out of my hard money I'm looking at about $1,800 a month on a 15-year note. If I do a 30-year note, it goes down to like about $1,300. Okay, so that could be more cash flow, but I'd rather pay it off sooner, right? Put a little bit more principal. So um, this is PITI, that's after taxes and insurance. Um, so that's what I'm looking at, okay? Airbnb, I was gonna rent it for $100 each door, it was a duplex. At 60% occupancy rate, that would be, it's about 18 days, equals 200 at night, at 18 days a month rented at 18 days a month rented you're looking at 3600 bucks a month and these are just 
like numbers, like they're gonna vary, right? This uh, you can't be exact. I'm just giving you all like how this works, right? So the the the, ca the passive income on this or the the cash flow with the Airbnb model would be what's that? Thirty six minus eighteen hundred is eighteen hundred, right? So you're looking at about making eighteen hundred bucks a month after refinancing, rehabbing it, and putting it on Airbnb for hundred a night each. Okay, so that's Airbnb. Here's how, what it would look like as a rental. As a rental, you could probably rent each. After I put seventy-five thousand, it's going to be top notch. You could probably rent each side for a thousand to eleven hundred. All right, let's just say a thousand for little smaller units. That equals two thousand. So a long-term renter at eighteen hundred, you would only cash flow two thousand. I mean two hundred on a fifteen-year note. If you did a thirty-year note and you drop this down payment to about fourteen hundred-ish, you would cash flow about six hundred a month on this duplex. So. Airbnb model, you do a little bit more work. Yeah, it's a little more, um, you know, you have to be a little more involved. You can make 1800 on a 15 year note, remember. So on a, third, on a 30 year note, you'd make more. A rental, you'd make about, on a, you'd make about 200 on a 15 year note. You can refine to a 30 year note and make like, you know, what, 400 more, four or 500 more. So what would you rather do in there? All right, last but not least is a flip. It appraised at two hundred and fifty thousand with the hard money lender. You're all in one sixty-five, but this is before some hard money fees, so it'd be a little less. That puts you at eighty-five thousand. So based off these three models, this is net, right? So this number is really probably like 40, 45k net profit. So would you rather refinance and cash flow eighteen hundred a month doing the Airbnb method? Cash flow 200 on a rental that's at a 15 year note. You could bump that up to about five, six hundred on a on a 30 year note, or cash out and make 45,000. What would you do? Let me know. All right, so here's another one, guys, that I own. Um, a little bit about this property. This was a referral from one of my past clients. Um, he told me this was his father's house or his parents house that he grew up in and they were renting it and they no longer wanted to rent it So this is the finished product of one of my rentals uh, What we do is we come in and we texture all the, the whole house. We put all new baseboards all new doors We rip out the kitchens put all new kitchens all new floors If it has wood flooring like this natural hardwood floors I like these because I just uh, sand them down and I just put a new surf a new stain on them um, restrooms, we gut them completely, and this is what they look like when they're done. It's a finished product for one of my restrooms. And this is a little, you know, two bedroom house. Um, we put all the ceiling fans, all the doors, all the trim, windows. We make this really nice. So, this house is about 700 square feet. I bought it for 65,000 and I put about 20 to 25,000 in it. So I'm all in about 90 grand minus holding costs and taxes. So the good thing about this guys, once you get to this point and you have the product, it's up to me to decide what I want to do. I could flip it for 150, put it on the market. Somebody can buy this for 150. I'm all in 90. That's a good spread, right? Or if I don't really need the income and I don't need that extra money, I can rent it long term to a tenants for about twelve fifty to thirteen hundred a month. And you know, my rent on my mortgage on this, if I was to get a mortgage, would probably be uh, probably nine hundred bucks, a thousand tops, and I can rent it for about thirteen hundred. So I can cash flow every month three hundred bucks very passively because I'm not going to need uh, I'm not going to need to do much, right? It's a long term tenant; they're going to be here for a whole year. Um, Another thing, I was just talking with Albert, my, my cameraman behind the scenes who gives you this excellent stuff. Uh, he's actually an Airbnb investor himself. So he told me that he would Airbnb this. So what I would have to do is just put a couch, a TV, furnish it, put a table, put some beds, and I can probably rent this for about at least 100 to 125 a night. Albert, what do you think? Yeah, I think so. So at 125 a night, guys, at 18 days, 60% occupancy. I'm looking at making about 2250 a month compared to where if I was to rent it long term, I would only make 1250 a month. So that's an extra thousand dollars Airbnb in it, right? And so if I get a mortgage and I only have 900,000 to a mortgage, that's some pretty good cash flow, right? What would you do? Let me know in the comments. Would you flip it? Would you long term rent it? Would you Airbnb it? Or 
would you do one more strategy I'm about to tell you. This is called owner finance. This is basically becoming a bank and creating notes. So I can sell this house for 159,000, okay, with a 10% to 15% down payment. Let's see what that looks like. 159,000, or let's just say 155, 15%. Find somebody who wants to do owner to owner, give me 23,000 down, I'd make that up front and then cash flow it, right? Because I would create a note and sell it to them at 155 with 11% interest, right? So that would be a lot more cash flow. I would probably, instead of making 1200 a month, I'd probably make closer to 1800 a month. Um, if I have an underlying mortgage of 1000, you know, I'm gonna cash for an extra five, four or 500 bucks. So guys, so those are some of the exit strategies I could do with this property right here. Me personally, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go with Airbnb. Let me know what you would do. I have a feeling you'd flip it. All that I ask is that you subscribe, comment, share with all your friends, follow me on IG and TikTok at Jared Clutch, all right? We're gonna do another one for you. I paid 65 grand, 20, I put 20 grand into it. I'm all in for 85 grand. Like I said, these are gross numbers. I'm not accounting for taxes, et cetera, and um, you know, other stuff. So all in for 85. The easy one would be the flip. I can I can list this for 149. You sell it, you're all in at 85. All the sales price 149, all in at 85. That puts you at 64,000. This is this is not net what you make. You still gotta factor in closing costs, hard money, if you've got a lender, taxes, realtor commissions, etc. So I can break that down for you. So taxes on this are about 3,500 a year. 3% goes to the buyer's agent. You should be able to list your investment properties for 1%. So 4% of 149 is what? All right, that's 59.60. That's close. And then closing costs on both sides. You're probably looking at like three grand more or less. And then this is not if you have hard money. A pretty, there's a bunch of stuff that goes in there. So you're all in at one four, or you can sell the property at 149. You're all in at 85. That's if you're cash. Um, that leaves you with 64, 4,000, minus 3,500, minus 59.60, minus 3,000. That puts you closer to 51. And that's if you're all cash on using hard money. If you're using hard money, you can probably take off another 10 off that. So you're looking at probably netting about 35, 40 grand. All right, let's flip numbers. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you the rental numbers. Refinancing this 85 on a 15 year note at 6%, you're looking at a PITI, that means uh, taxes and insurance included, you're looking at about $1,100 a month. The rental on this is probably about 1250, 1300 max. So that's looking like, I would say 1250 max. That's looking like a cash flow of $150 per month. To me, that doesn't excite me. I need way more than that. That's on a 15 year note. If you do a 30, let's see what that looks like. You're looking at 926 a month on a 30, right? 926. So you're looking at a little bit more, right? You're looking closer to like, what is that? 250, a little over 300 cash flow a month. That doesn't really excite me either. To me, that's not good enough, guys. I need to make more than that. $300 a month doesn't excite me. That's me personally. I know a lot of people that do do that and it works for them. Good for you. But um, now we'll look at Airbnb. Looking at 90 bucks a night, 60% occupancy. That's 18 days a month. 90 times 18, you're looking more or less around 1620 a month. 1620 a month, that's at only 18 days guys. Whereas you were getting 1200 here, that's a lot more money, right? So if your mortgage is 1100, you can cash for 500 a month. That's a little bit better. I still want to do a little better than that, okay? I still want to do a little bit better than that. But it's a good start. And that goes up if you do a 30 year now, okay? So guys, what would you do if this was you? Which route would you take? Hello? Hey. What's up? Hey, so, um, okay, so, Blue Bonnet, what, so we the, either we can do an amendment to change it to the JRH LLC, or, or we can assign it to the JRH LLC for nothing. Which one do you think? Because the other one we have to get signatures from them. This one, the assignment, we don't have to get signatures. What do you think? Mm, yeah, I would just assign it. Be easier, right? Yeah, that way we don't have to get the sellers involved? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I totally forgot that I was buying this one. So, um, yeah. so like, yeah, I'm not, I don't buy under that LLC. That's just a wholesale LLC. Right, right. Okay. All right, so I'll just do an assignment to myself and I'll sign it. 
and I guess I'll sign both. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, I talked to him yesterday uh, about if we're clear to close. If he's heard from Title, he said that they got some. They just need a. There's some items missing with Title that they're trying to fix right now. Right, they so, need to get that. Um, I saw the email thread. It looks like they needed the release of lean, and they yeah. having trouble getting a hold of the lean holders. Mm -hmm. So let's make sure that's all intact before we, uh, you know, move forward. Yeah. But I'm right. I'm good on mine. I don't think there's any leans on the one I'm getting right. Um, on Blue Bonnet, I think I think there was. It's pretty much the same leans that were on the other one. Oh, okay. But I'll double I'll double check right now and I'll let you know. Okay. Well, I already got everything in order, so I'm ready. All right. All right. Bye. So that's uh, another deal that I'm buying. Um, so basically, I don't know. I'll probably have you do this as a rental or an Airbnb. It's by downtown. But uh, we got a lead, and the lady was selling us like 10 properties. We got about four of them. A few were wholesaling. A few were, were grabbing. And um, yeah, this is what we do every day. I love it. This is a little higher end one. So. When I got this lead, we got it for 170,000, and um, this house I saw went for 285, and it was super clean. I didn't have to put windows on it, a roof on it. I didn't have to do any foundation, electrical plumbing. Super clean house. So all I literally did was put screens on the windows, paint it, and I'll show you what we did on the inside. Come check it out. So when I bought the house, it already had these floors. It was just the grout was really ugly, so I took out all the old grout and I put all new grout, so it made it look like a brand new floor. This one already had the um, the granite countertops, so what I did was I put a brand new backsplash here and here. I put this and I put all new doors everywhere, and I retextured the whole house, put all new fans, um, all new you know pretty much. Everything you see here that's cosmetic, new carpet. I, don't, I didn't spend that much on the rehab. I did a brand new restroom as well. Brand new restroom. So with with me, I was like, I'm still debating. I've had it on the market and actually the market took a little dip, so I haven't sold it yet. So I had the choice to just sell it and barely make a little bit of profit because the market turned down a little bit and I'm just being 100% honest with you guys because that's what you get on this channel. Um, or I can refinance it and I think it'd be a great Airbnb. What do you think? I think so, the area, it's right next to the airport. Would this be a better Airbnb than Arbor? Slightly, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But the thing is I owe double on our, than this one than Arbor. Right. Because I'm all in on this one about 200. Yeah. Arbor I'm only in on 100. And this one's bigger too, so it's going to cater to bigger families. Bigger families and just a better area. Straight yeah. shots face Texas, right next downtown, to North Star Mall. Yep. So do you think I should Airbnb this one? Personally, yeah, I think so. Both of them? I. I mean, yeah, I would do both of them, yeah, essentially. Just see what happens. Just give it to the summer, and if they don't do good, then I could just list them in the summer, exactly. and I'd have probably two furnished houses. Exactly. Yeah. I think I'm going to take your advice. So, guys, <laughs> it's funny that y'all are watching this, because, like, I was telling Albert in the truck, it's so easy for us to create so many videos, to create so, create so many TikTok videos, everything, because we don't create content. We're literally just documenting the journey. And it's funny because as you can tell, I'm asking my camera guy, like, what do you think I should do in this part of the video? We're literally just documenting. So if y'all guys want to create content, my advice is to you is to really get into something that you're passionate about and just bring your friends with you to bring hold a camera. Everybody wins. Albert loves what he does. I love what I do. And that's why y'all get a great channel. So I hope y'all are getting a lot out of this, guys. The video's not over, but I want to remind you again, if you really do like this channel, make sure to subscribe, share it with your friends, follow on Instagram and TikTok at JR Clutch. And, um, you know, just be part of the community so that we can continue to grow together and learn about real estate investing and business in general.